I'm Sharon Hoag from Bismarck, North Dakota, and I've been a caregiver to my husband for 22 years. He uh, had a heart attack, and the doctor said, you know what, you're, you're done. He was 56 years old. He uh, was a farmer and, uh, and a mechanic, and through all the years that he did those uh, jobs that uh, when the heart attack just said you're done. So he was at home and I went to, went to work full time then. Other things started happening to him and the doctor said you know he's going to be total care pretty soon and I said that's all right. I said I'll go to work and I'll take care of him. I'm, my day starts at 4 in the morning. I get myself ready first, and then I get him ready for the day. He's dressed for the day. The last couple of years has been the hardest because he's been falling, and uh, he's still at home yet. Uh, some of the doctors say, you know, you're going to have to put him in a nursing home, and I'm, I'm hoping I don't because I do prefer to take care of him. I would like them to listen to us um, and know that our stories are true. We're not exaggerating, I'm not. And that, um, make sure that there is for the upcoming people. Some people say to me, how can he be home day after day? It is the life that you are given to be home day after day. And that there would be some help out there, even if it came in the form of um, a gift card to some of us caregivers. Um, we all work hard. There's care 24-7. It doesn't end when you take them home. It, it just keeps going on that there is information provided. Um, sometimes, like we said, um, equipment. Everything has a cost to it. And we pay for our own health insurance. We're both over 60, 66 and all that. I said we pay for all that stuff, but there's some help out there that would be say, you know what, Mr. and Mrs. Holm, this is gonna be paid for you. It'd be great. Just, I mean, that's how I feel. That if there's money out there to be used, to use it for caregivers, give them a lift.